Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks for the support. Uh, I'm going to break down Nirvana about a girl, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Also appreciate you signing the newsletter at Marty Music. Uh, you'll see the first comment will take you there, and I have you know a bunch of free courses and stuff. And I appreciate that extra support. Let's dig in. Here we go. All right, so my guitar is in standard tuning. The unplugged version is E-flat tuning. The original recording is regular tuning. So I just kept it in regular tuning. We start with an E minor chord. And then we go to a G. And however you can play a G, it's going to work. But most of the time, he's kind of playing like this G power chord, where like ACDC plays it too, uh, where your middle finger is right here. And it's muting the A string. And then you're on the third of the B and the third of the high E. My finger's there anyway, I'm just used to it. But that's the main part of the song, and they're nice, easy chords. It's a great you know, be song to start if you're a beginner or teach someone that is working on trying to play. So check it out. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down. So check it out. So down, down, up, down, down, up. And on that up, we're opening our hand up, which mostly is like a G chord anyway. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. I'm doing it again on the way back. And if that's weird, you can just practice E minor to G. They're in a million songs. You know? But that's the main part of the song. Then we go into this kind of way that uh, Kurt Cobain played power chords a lot and major chords and all that. So. We go to this shape right here, and we're gonna call it C sharp. And it's major, this, that note is getting in there. But even if you just played the top two, you know, four and six, it's all good. So you keep this chord, and what you're doing is you're kind of following the bass line. And you get that fourth fret of the low E while you're holding this chord. Check it out. And so what this is, is really it's an F sharp major, sus, blah, 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 right? So really, he plays his power chords a lot with the same shape, even though the root's on the E string. So it's like two, four, four. And if you got a little bit, even by accident or on purpose, that four on the G, and in the unplugged version, he's even letting that open B and high E ring out a little bit. And it sounds, it sounds exotic and cool, I think, so. Right, and then. So I can see you every night. It's an E again, but it sounds more like an E power chord. Where it's some kind of, you know, you can play E minor, but that G string doesn't really ring out as much, it sounds like to me, on this part. So E, and then A power chord, or an A major, with the same, same finger. See you every night. And then we go up to a C. Before we were C sharp, for this part, it's C. 
barred on the third, ring finger across. And if, the, if this kind of bar chord is hard for you right now, uh, one, I have a bar chord course that's free at Marty Music when you sign the newsletter. But for right now, you could just play a power chord and it's going to work. You know, they're just two strings with two fingers as opposed to the flat thing. Okay, so let's go to the second section. It's C sharp, finger goes over. Right? Two, four, 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 maybe some open in there. Then the E, A, C, to the top. So let's go over it again. Here's the verse. Starting one, two, here's the verse. Ready for the next part, that C sharp major. guys enjoyed the lesson thanks again for supporting marty music and we'll see you again real soon take care uh.